Hey guys, ever checked out your mission results and thought, whoa, why, why is it thin like watered down lemonade, clear as a mountain stream? Then you calm yourself with epic excuses. Guess I drank too much water today, so it's extra light. Haven't been on duty in a while, so the team's a bit rusty. Or the classic, must be my wife's vibe, cause I'm still strong like a superhero in tights. Time out for excuses. Fellas, how can you be super strong when you've been married for years, working hard and still no sign of a little prince or princess? Boom, boom, boom. Harsh truth alert. 40% of infertility cases come from guys, not just the ladies. Even harsher, 80% of guys dodge checkups like they're avoiding an ex's text. Today, Mr. Banana Blossoms spilling the beans on why this semen isn't a joke and how you can fast track to fatherhood. Ready? Let's roll! Ellie and I have been married for two years. She's super dedicated. Doctor visits, tracking ovulation, taking vitamins. Me? Ah, I haven't gotten checked yet. Why not? What's the fear? Everything's... I feel fine. Everything's working. But deep down, I'm scared the doc will say, buddy, your sperm's weaker than a 2005 phone battery. No charge left. James, you're not alone. Let me break down what's going on with your sperm squad. Normal semen. Thick, like toothpaste. Liquefies in 15 to 60 minutes. That's a sign of a healthy, pumped-up sperm squad. Thin semen comes out like a watery lemonade, clear as glass, red alert. What's causing it? Two teams at play. Lifestyle issues, unfixable. Overworking the squad, sending them out too often tires the factory, leaving semen thin like decaf coffee with no coffee. Poor diet, missing zinc, oysters, beef, vitamin C, E, D, stress, Sleep deprivation, too much beer, sperm gets sluggish, swimming like turtle. Medical issues, check ASAP. Low sperm count, under 15 million milliliters, too few troops to storm the castle, the egg. Weak sperm, they swim, but slowly, missing the egg by a mile. Odd shaped sperm, big head, short tail, swimming in circles like a rookie driver. No sperm, blocked tubes or a factory on strike. Other issues, infections, varicoceles or wonky hormones. A quick private sample, no TikTok cameras, promise. What you'll learn, volume is less than 1.5 millimeter, count is less than 15 million millimeter, motility is less than 40%, shape is less than 4%, pH 7.2 to 8, liquefaction time is less than 60 minutes. This one sheet unlocks the universe of your fertility secrets. Lifestyle fixes, eat oysters, beef, oranges, almonds, sleep 7 to 8 hours, exercise, cut back on beer, Deploy every two to three days. Medical fixes. Antibiotics for infections. Surgery for varicoceles. Hormones if needed. No sperm. More tests like ultrasounds or MRIs. Oysters, vitamins, and a checkup. Your sperm squad's winning formula. Get checked if you've been trying for 6 to 12 months with no success. Your semen is watery or thin. You have a history of mumps or testicular injury. Sharing is healing. About 50% of infertility cases involve male factors. 40 to 50% involve female factors, and sometimes both contribute. Stop blaming just one person. Blaming the woman only adds psychological stress and delays identifying the real problem. Infertility is a shared issue, not one person's fault. Instead of pointing fingers, both partners should get evaluated at a reproductive health center for a full assessment. Specific actions. For men, 
Get a semen analysis to assess sperm count, quality, and motility. You may also need hormone tests, scrotal ultrasound, or further evaluations if necessary. For women, assess ovulation, egg quality, uterus, and fallopian tube function. For both, consult a fertility specialist together. Factors like age, lifestyle, smoking, alcohol, stress, and underlying health conditions all matter. Improve your lifestyle. Eat a balanced diet, rich in zinc, vitamin C, E, and antioxidants. Avoid exposure to toxins or high heat. For example, long hot bath, placing laptops on your lap. Reduce stress, exercise moderately, and maintain a healthy weight. Mindset and communication. Talk openly. Avoid blame or shame. Supporting each other is essential in this journey. If needed, talk to a therapist or counselor to reduce emotional pressure. Stay informed. If you'd like, I can help find updated information on improving fertility or recommend a trusted reproductive health specialist near you. Want me to look? Let's act together. Don't let the pressure fall all on one person. Gentlemen, sperm aren't superheroes. They don't resurrect on their own. If you want your troops strong, you've got to take action. If it's lifestyle related, eat like an athlete. Boost zinc with oysters, beef, pumpkin seeds, peanuts, add vitamin C, oranges, guava, E, almonds, and D, salmon, and 15 minutes of sunshine daily. Sperm need premium fuel to stay strong. Sleep like a baby, 78 hours per night. Sleep before 11 p.m. Even sperm need a good night's rest to regenerate. Exercise just enough running, yoga, or light gym sessions. If you sit all day, your sperm may go lazy too. Control your launch frequency. Two to three days between ejaculations is ideal when trying to conceive. Don't overwork the factory. Give your testicles time to recharge. Avoid enemies of sperm. Cut back on alcohol, tobacco, energy drinks. Sperm plus those equals ambush in the battlefield. Gentlemen, just a little oyster, a pinch of vitamins, and one visit to the clinic, and your sperm army can go from rookies to elite warriors. A real man is not someone who avoids the truth. He is someone who faces it, who dares to get checked to stand beside his wife and find the key to their family's happiness. Sperm isn't always as strong as the rumors say, gentlemen. A semen analysis, just a few hours, could open an entirely new chapter, the chapter of fatherhood. Don't let your wife fight this battle alone. Be the man who takes initiative and shares this journey with her.